Hey everyone, welcome to the psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about experimental research method. The prime method of inquiry in science is the experiment. The key features are control over variables, careful measurement and establishing cause and effect relationship. An experiment is an investigation in which a hypothesis is scientifically tested. In an experiment, an independent variable that is the cause is manipulated and the dependent variable that is the effect is measured. An advantage is that the experiments should be objective. The views and opinions of the researcher should not affect the results of the study. There are mainly three types of experiments. A laboratory experiment is an experiment conducted under highly controlled conditions where accurate measurements are possible. The researcher decides where the experiment will take place at what time with which participants and in what circumstance using a standardized procedure. Participants are randomly allocated to each independent variable group. Examples of this type of experiments are Stanley Milgram's experiment on obedience or Loftus and Palmer's car crash study. It is easier to replicate a laboratory experiment as standardized procedure is used. They also allow for precise control of extraneous and independent variables and this allows a cause and effect relationship to be established. Artificial setting may produce unnatural behavior that does not reflect real life, that is low ecological validity. Demand characteristics or experimental effects may bias the results. Field experiments are done in the real life environment of the participants. The experimenter still manipulates the independent variable but in a real life setting. An example of this type of experiment is Holfing's hospital study on obedience. Behavior in a field experiment is more likely to reflect real life because of its natural setting. There is also less chance of demand characteristics affecting the results as participants may not know they are being studied. There is less control over extraneous variables that might bias the results. Demand characteristics are the clues in an experiment that lead the participants to think they know what the researcher is looking for. Extraneous variables are not the independent variable but could affect the results of the experiment. Natural experiments are also conducted in real life environments of the participants but here the experimenter has no control over the independent variable as it occurs naturally in real life. For example, Hawkes and Dissart's attachment research compared the long-term development of children who have been adopted, fostered or returned to their mothers with a control group of children who had spent all their lives in their biological families. Behavior in a natural experiment is more likely to reflect real life because of its natural setting. There is less chance of demand characteristics affecting results as participants may not know they are being studied. It can be used in situations in which it would be ethically unacceptable to manipulate the independent variable and it can be more expensive and time consuming. I hope you like this video. Please share these videos with everyone who is preparing for this exam. Thank you.